Welcome to the World Computer Tech Talks. I'm Björn, and I lead the research team at the Definity Foundation. According to a recent Cybersecurity Insiders study, more than 80% of the participating organizations reported experiencing insider attacks in 2024 alone. Moreover, according to IBM's 2024 Cost of a Data Breach report, the damage caused by such an insider attack is, on average, even greater than the damage caused by an external attack. These alarming facts root in fundamental security problems in the architecture of today's IT infrastructure. These fundamental problems exist independently of whether the infrastructure is hosted on-prem or in the cloud. They exist whether your organization's servers run on Linux or any other operating system. They are instead related to the inherent centralization of control over infrastructure components. All organizational data and all software is ultimately hosted on some server. And someone somewhere administers that server. In techie terms, someone, and in most organizations and for most servers, that's actually more than one, has root level privileges on that server. And with root level privileges, one can read and modify and delete all data on that server. Thus, in today's IT infrastructure, there are always insiders that can exploit their level of access. So is this problem unsolvable, an undisputable fact of the universe that we just have to live with? No, it is solvable. At Definity, we have spent more than a thousand person years of R&D effort into building what we refer to as a sovereign cloud, a compute network that enables control and ownership for code and data. So what concretely does that mean? Let me give you an example. We recently built a product called Orbit. Orbit enables organizations to hold assets, control software, or manage their processes in a way that avoids any centralized point of control. Transfer assets securely with a three out of five approval among company leadership? Of course. Deploy or configure software with a three out of eight approval by the developer team and an additional sign off from someone from security? Sure thing. All encoded in and enforced by Orbit. For the entire system to be airtight, Orbit uses an, of course, configurable approval policy on all administrative operations, such as changes to the policies themselves and even upgrades of the underlying Orbit software. If set up appropriately, no action on the entire Orbit system can be performed by any one individual. This is impossible to achieve with traditional IT. So you may be asking, how can Orbit achieve that? Doesn't it also like other business process software run on some computer somewhere that is administered by someone? Well, not quite. The answer lies in decentralization. Orbit is a smart contract that runs on the internet computer. The internet computer is a permissionless, decentralized network of nodes, which together run a cryptographic protocol, ICP. The crux is that the integrity of all code and data on ICP is guaranteed, even if a subset of node disappears or acts in arbitrarily malicious ways. The nodes that comprise the internet computer are run by independent parties and hosted in independent data centers all across the world. And so even if someone who controls some node contributing to ICP makes it do nefarious things, the integrity of the network is still guaranteed. And these integrity guarantees extend to all software running on it. Therefore, even in case of an attack on a node contributing to the network, no one can make Orbit do things it is not configured to do. As an alternative to using the public permissionless internet computer, one can also deploy the same core protocol ICP within an organizational environment. In such a model, an organization that can deploy nodes, for instance, across four different cloud providers or across four different data centers, 
or any mix of those, building a private network that we refer to as Utopia. The integrity of such a Utopia network is then guaranteed as long as the administrative privileges for the nodes in those four different clouds or data centers are kept isolated from one another. And again, the integrity guarantees of the Utopia network extend to all software running on it. If you want to learn more, go to internetcomputer.org or utopia.com, or if you want to give Orbit a spin, head over straight to orbit.global and create your first self-custodial organizational wallet. Join us on our journey toward the world computer. 